Library, and we are at week five of crafts. So in your kit, you will find the lovely Chia Pet Kit. I don't know if you guys have ever made these, but they are so cute and they're fun and they're easy and you can keep him all summer, her all summer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. If you want to pull out your bag, Chia Pet, I'm going to put her to the side. You're going to need a pair of scissors. That should be about it besides what's in your kit. So we have our instructions. We have seed, a bowl, soil, some fun little balls, nylon, some goofy eyes, a couple glue dots, and some pipe cleaners. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the instructions. It says to begin, you will need to mix together soil and grass seed. Um, I recommend using the two part, part soil to one part grass, which you're provided with that. The more grass seed you use, the hairier your cheer pet will be. So let's start with that. So I'm gonna open up my bag of soil or dirt. Okay, and I am just going to pour, okay, so looks like we've got all of our seed in there now, okay, so we're going to go ahead and close it up, zip it up, and we're going to mix it. You want to try to get it as evenly through the soil as possible so you don't have patches in your pet. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side until we need it. And next we're going to grab our nylon. Just note that some of you may have the toe of the nylon. so. Um, there's not openings on both ends. If you do have one with the opening on both ends like mine is, then we're gonna have to tie a knot there. So pick an end and you're gonna just bunch it up and tie a knot at the end and you wanna get it as close to the bottom as possible. Okay. So there's our knot. The next step is to get your soil into the nylon. To do that, we are going to cut a hole in the corner, okay? So here, it doesn't have to be huge. Okay, and I, am, I, I like to use my bowl too, so if we have um, some spillage, which you're probably gonna have, then it cleans up easy. So you can just put it around it like halfway and almost make um, kind of like a bowl out of it. Okay. And get all of our soil into our nylon. Okay, it's starting to kind of get a nice bowl shape there. A little bit more here. Okay, so bam, all done. Now we are gonna want to, as you can see, it is already kind of in a nice cute little ball. Okay, you just kind of wanna go around and give it a nice shape. And it should not spill out of the nylon anymore, but we're going to go ahead and tie off the top of it. I want to fluff it up a little bit now. I usually use the part that you just did at the bottom because there's usually a lot more and it's not exactly centered. 
that all can be cut off up to the knot just the excess stuff here or you could even make that part of their head okay you could also turn it make it ears There's so many different things you can do but we're going to keep this guy like that so now you have a ball of soil seed in a nylon Okay, so our next step is going to give this little guy some character. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give my guy some eyes. And I'm actually gonna give him three eyes. So I've got a medium one and I've got two little ones. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use the glue dots. What I'm actually going to do with this one is I'm going to cut it in half because I don't need all that for my eyes. So my glue dot, cut it in half so I have some extra. Okay, and then I have my little eyeballs. And I'm going to take my glue off of the paper. Okay, and I'm actually going to see if I can pick up these eyes with it okay and kind of wherever they land that's where they're gonna be okay so not bad kind of cute actually so that's what I come up with and now you got to put it on the nylon which it's it doesn't like to stay very well but the more that you push it into the fabric or nylon, the better it stays. Okay, so we got his eyes on. Um, now, I am going to give him a little mouth, okay? And you can decide to make it humongous. You can give him just a little mouth, which I think that's what I'm gonna do, is just give him a little bitty curve of a mouth here. Okay, once again, I'm gonna take my glue dot. Okay. And stick that on there. We're gonna give them all the way up here because that's cute. Okay. And remember, your grass is going to be growing, so you're really not going to see it, but you can cut the grass around it, which is pretty cute. You can decide what else you want to do. Um, you have these little balls. You can um, give them some fun squiggly ears, put them in there, and then put the ball at the end. You can give them a crown. You can pretty much do whatever you want. And I think... I think I'm actually going to just leave him like this. Just leave him like that. I kind of like him plain Jane. Um, he is pretty much finished. We're just going to take him. And this is going to be his home from now on. And you can shape him the way that you want. Sit him in the bowl. And you're going to go ahead and give him a nice water. So you're going to put water. I'd probably put it in the back of the bowl and leave a little bit at the bottom and it'll just soak it up, okay? So put it in a nice sunny window and within a few days, you'll already see some sprouting on it and then um, within a week or a week and a half, you will have a cute, cute seed just like this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the craft this week. I hope you guys had a safe and fun 4th of July. Next week, we will be doing the water bead craft. So go ahead and sign up to pick up your kit this week. Um, that'll be a lot of fun, and we will see you later. Thank you. Thank you.